Picking up the uh, pine siding. I always love this place. I haven't been here in a long time. This guy's been doing post and beam barn construction for a long time. My kind of place right here. Okay, welcome back to the barn build. It's a few days later and uh, I didn't get a ton done on the barn this week, um, but we got a big weekend coming up. It's Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we got my brother's coming down again. Uh, he's gonna stay for the weekend and we've got some friends lined up uh, to come help with the barn. But before then, uh, I got a lot of prep work to do. I'm gonna take you around and I'll show you some of the details uh, of the build. Um, I'm just going to show you how we brace the barn, how we get it square, how we get it straight uh, before we put the siding on to make sure everything's cool on the roof. So um, I did uh, pick up the pine siding. Uh, you can see it behind me there on the trailer. Uh, it's about 2,000 square feet. It's more than I need for the barn. I'll have some extra for some other projects. And uh, uh, there's a local sawmill. Uh, a family that's been in business for, I don't know, 30, 40 years, and they have a sawmill, and they build barns themselves, and they build horse arenas and um, garages, and, you know, uh, they build beautiful buildings, and they also sell lumber on the side. They, uh, they have a wood products division. They have a sawmill out back. It's just my kind of place. Beautiful New England stone walls, horses running around, beautiful post and beam buildings, beautiful farmhouse. Uh, I didn't film it, but we you go over a covered bridge to get there. It's just a beautiful place and uh, They got good pricing on their material and they got real good material So that's what we're gonna be using. It's the pine is rough on one side smooth on the other I'm gonna do the rough side out and I've decided that I'm not gonna paint the barn I'm just gonna put some clear uh, weather protectant on it um, We're gonna dip the ends uh, of the boards so I can get some protection up underneath the end of the board along the bottom there. So I got some of that stuff. We're just going to dip it in there and put it on and, and that should protect the bottom a little better than just leaving it raw. So anyway, I'll take you around and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you what we're up to. First thing I want to show you is these uh, the hardware we use to connect, you know, the barn, the posts to the foundation. So you remember from the foundation video these are these were nailed right to the form and they're set down in the concrete um, there's some sort of webbing down in there that gives the concrete something to attach to this is from Simpson strong tie it's STHD 14 um, I think I paid about $25 a piece for those There's 14 of them one on every post I got those from our local lumber supplier and uh, I think that'll give us a real solid connection. You know, the pole barn I built 15 years ago, um, I just used the post bases like you get at Home Depot for six by six with the bolt coming out of the, you know, sonnet tube. That's what I'm gonna use back here um, on the back for the posts. Clean this off. It'll just be a post base and then a nut on that and then it gives you something to attach the bolt to. But what I really wanted to show you was, let me get a ladder. The last time I was here the other day, before we started putting the top plate on, we got half of that done. We, uh, you see we put a screw at either end and ran a string and then made sure that was the same distance all the way down off the string that gets the building nice and straight um you know when you put the posts up you know you, you sort of plumb in the post to get it as plumb as possible but then you, you you know you nail on the two by twelves the building moves whatever racks that post gets out of whack so um we took the brace off we used the string to get a nice straight line 
down there and put the brace back on. So we're going to do that all the way around and then this area up in here has been an area of contention. Um, as you know, this, this right here was the original, you know, top to the building. And actually this two by six came and was mitered here in the corner. And then another one would come and be mitered and that would lock that all together. Well, you know, I wanted to raise this up for the overhang. So my suggestion was to just frame a wall on top of this two by six, nice two by six wall. And then the roof will be on top of that. But I was told that I, you can't do that, that you can't have a hinge. I think you said you can't have a hinge in the wall. So we had to do it this way. We got these 12 foot posts. You saw my brother and I cut the notches in them. And when we were cutting them, especially the corners, you know, you're taking three quarters of this six by six away, you know, all of this here. And then, you know, not three quarters, I guess, but yeah, I guess, I don't know, a lot of it away. So we screwed a two by six to this post before we stood it up because we worried about this. Not, you see that? See that wiggle? I mean, I, I want to lock this all in. So what we're going to do is after the the uh, top plate is on, I picked up some conventional two by fours. We're going to frame a wall in each each bay here, the three. So we're going to frame three walls. It's going to go from this top plate. There's going to be a six by six across the top. Those those back there. I got three more 12 footers. So that it'll lock into that, it'll lock into this, it'll lock into that, it'll lock into the next post. And then over here, we're gonna put a brace down on a 45, just like all the braces are gonna be under here. So that'll stop it from going that way. You know, the walls, it'll stop from going that way. It'll really lock it in. So I chose to use two by fours because you got a picture up here is gonna be two by six top plate, like over here. And then I'll have a two by four wall on there and I'll make sure I screw it down into this this 2x12 and this 2x12. I'll screw it down on the front on an angle. And then, I'll, so that'll give me a little lip there. Essentially, this will be a lip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a sh like a platform out here, maybe three feet wide, I don't know. All the way down the back of the barn so that this area up here will become a nice storage space. And to hide those 2x4s, I'll just put some pine on the inside. I made a stick so I know where to make a line for the bracing so we get them all the same. so we're done for today today we had a great day we got organized number one and we got the top plate on we got the walls straightened out we got all the nailers on we got all the corner bracing on and we got all the temporary bracing where it's supposed to be so the only thing we have to do to be ready to put siding on is build those walls up there they put the corner bracing up there Hold that post this way anyway it looks like it's meant to rain tomorrow so my brother came down they're gonna camp with us for the weekend either at our house or here our plan was to work tomorrow and Sunday I uh, have some friends over Sunday play some music have a fire have a little Memorial Day picnic but um tomorrow looks like it it's gonna be on and off rain I don't even know if we'll be up here tomorrow we might not be here till Sunday so so I'll bring it back um, whenever it is we work again. For you guys, that'll be in about two seconds. For me, it might be in two days. All right, Will, we're back. Yay! Will's here. Ginger's pulled in. 
All right, we're going to, uh, today is Sunday of Memorial Day. We're supposed to be in Texas, yeah. eating tacos and playing guitars. <laughs> but we're not, so we're here in Connecticut yeah. building a barn. Next best thing. All right, so we got to get those walls framed up there. <laughs> ice. That's the first thing. <laughs> That's right. Ice. Right. That's the ice. We're going to get those walls framed in. We just checked the building for square. We just checked the building for square, Globby. Is it square? Perfectly square. We have a square awesome. building, you know, so we feel good about that. We're all braced up We're gonna get those walls framed and then we're gonna get going with the pine and then We're gonna put shorts on and get the guitars out. Sweet. Yeah. That's no one told me the shorts part. Yeah, I mean, however high we can get it, and we'll see if we can't, you know, shimmy it up. The goal is to not have anyone in the emergency room. I like it. Exactly. I love you, Sarah. <laughs>
today we got the uh, that you saw got the walls built up here got the the six by sixes up on the top got all the pine in on the back wall so that back wall is nice and nice and sturdy now so I had some friends over to help and then we we've been sitting around playing music so you know what I always say do what you dig dig what you do life will be sweet this is what I dig doing playing music with my friends see you next time